Resident Evil Reverse was supposed to be launched alongside Resident Evil 8 on May 7th. If you had bought Resident Evil 8, then you would have gotten Resident Evil Reverse for absolutely free. But Resident Evil Reverse was delayed. Now, those delays were not really specified by Capcom. They just said that they wanted to delay it so they can bring a better gameplay experience for players. Now, a lot of people that tuned in for the beta that year in January, I'm pretty sure that's when it happened. A lot of people said that the game mode was not ready. It was pretty disappointing. It got stale after a couple games and it was not very innovating. Now today I'm going to be going into further detail on why I think that is. And what I'm saying and I'm trying to specify is that Resident Evil Reverse, <laughs> Resident Evil Reverse sounds good on paper but is bad in execution. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate if you guys can drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and put notifications on. It would really help me out and shows your support to the channel. Thank you very much and let's get into this video the delay was so capcom could give a smoother gameplay experience as mentioned uh previous resident evil multiplayer titles have not been received well um a good example is resident evil operation raccoon city uh the game is not canon luckily because a lot of those events that happen in that game uh kind of breaks the resident evil canon uh, Resident Evil Reverse multiplayer reviews said that the game was stale quickly, the game needed a lot of balancing when it came to weapons, the characters would spawn with certain abilities and certain weapons, but other characters were pretty weak and not a lot of balancing was made sure when the beta was released. It was pretty good, don't get me wrong, I've seen a lot of gameplay videos where the reviews were saying that they were pretty okay, but definitely the game needed a lot of balancing right so i think that's one of the reasons why resident evil reverse was an experiment for capcom to sell probably more skins um more maps and stuff it, to mention if the game was gonna be getting free or game mode sorry in this case if the game mode was gonna be getting free dlc is pretty much up for question that's something that i really thought about for Resident Evil Reverse because a lot of AAA and maybe other games too and other game developers all they try to do is make a quick profit nowadays which pretty much sucks they try to scum their fans mind you into buying other content that is pretty mid or just pretty disappointing and they expand on their licensed IPs or games that a lot of people cherish right just to make a quick buck i mean for example is what's that uh, metal gear survive that game was utterly trash and konami really failed with it i mean it was pretty much just a quick cash grab that's that's a reason i think resident Evil reverse was pretty much an experiment i i hope it does get free dlc that would keep a long uh that would keep a the fan base pretty strong and i mean it would give free maps and all that um you know they can do it in seasons or battle pass or whatever you guys want to have i mean Resident Evil Reverse has so much potential, and you know what, I think they're gonna follow a lot of AAA uh, market gaming strategies. I mean, look at Fortnite, they've had the Battle Pass for such a long time, free content, everything. Uh, Call of Duty followed in that wave. Delaying the Reverse game mode was a good idea to tune up the game, fix bugs, balance weapons, add game modes, make sure that there's a lot of content on launch because I don't think a lot of people understand that the beta only had one map and the amount of content that was in that beta was pretty good. It was solid, right? That's what I've seen a lot of people talk about. It was solid. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in today's video, guys. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy it. I mean, I wanted to try something new. Without further ado, guys, I'm pretty much going to have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy it. And without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.